from one Blue Jays way in Toronto. Welcome to Rogers Center. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. And on the hill in this one, Jose Barrios. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Singy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate. And that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. Okay, all set to go. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. On the ground right side, Connor Falefa tosses to first, one up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup and a key factor for this club in that leadoff spot, Yandy Diaz. Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup, but a guy like this, they circle him, make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. He swings and fouls one off. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. That's down and in. Two and two. Come on, Blue Jays, let's go. Misses all three. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him. And two away now. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. In there at the knees for a strike. Two out spaces empty. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Battling here as he fouls it away. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And another ball. Swing and a bouncer. And that's just foul. Do it again. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. That one way outside. And a full count now. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. 3 2 now. Fights it off. You'll see another. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making him work out there. Lifted in the air, right field. Biggio drifts towards it. And that is that. 
Tampa Bay nothing Blue Jays do up next back after this on the show. Back here with my pal Singy and starting on the mound for the Rays Aaron Savali. What do we have on him. Well he's been a very dependable starter for his club and what stands out for me is that left handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball maybe it's the release point maybe it's the motion but just some way somehow they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side bottom of the first and now for the Jays number 36 ball one no strikes. Inside corner for a strike. Swings through that one for strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Low has it sized up. And there's one down. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton. And even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Dalton Varsho in the box now. No balls and a strike. One out, base is empty. Oh. All one there. One ball, one strike. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. One out, runner at second. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. There's a strike. And that's through there for a strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Next pitch is downstairs. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Man, it's second. In the dirt. Runner holds, and it's a full count. Varsho leads off second with one gone in the inning. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Caballero sends it to first, and Guerrero is set down. Batting four. Not shortstop. Bobashek gets a chance to hit. Siggy, yeah. he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in no spots. Fouled off. He was late. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. In the air, left field. A Rosarena moving under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is the inning. Blue Jays held in check. Scoreless after one.
All set for the start of the inning. Down the third baseman, Isak Paredes. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. The right-hander back to work. Just off the outside edge, and it's 1-0. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. hammered that's back there and it's off the wall into second easily with a leadoff double he was all over that one anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way it feels so good and that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate it's even better when it gets you extra bases gotta love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up Ahmed Rosario next to hit for the Rays and that one clips the corner. Man, it's second. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance. Get him out of there and deal with the next guy. And a foul ball. On the ground to short. Whips it to first on the run. He's out. He's out. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Here's the second baseman, Richie Palacios. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Next oh. offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And a pitch. This one rip, but foul to the right. That one almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Okay. Next pitch is outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. to the plate swings through it for the K couldn't hit the fastball at the knees so no runs here in a base hit no errors and one left we go to the bottom of inning number two we're tied nothing nothing And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. And the here's the first baseman, baseman Daniel, Daniel Vogelback. Vogelback. And the right hander back to work. And That's the first the pitch misses for ball one. On 
around the inside corner for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. Got him. And that's the first out. Well, not much you can argue with there as a hitter. That pitch was that dotted good. on the inside corner of the plate. I think even if he swings the bat, it blows him up and not really able to do anything with it anyhow. I think if you see that early, then perhaps you can pull those hands a little bit tighter and get the fat part of the bat to it. But I'd say overall, you just have to tip your cap on that okay. one. Great execution. Alejandro Kirk in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Ripped to third and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Fought off foul. One and that's outside. Fights that one away, still one and two. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Slings it across, and the Blue Jays go down one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning. Now it's the shortstop, Jose Caballero. Barrios back to work. Caballero goes five feet nine inches in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2017. So two balls and no strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And there's the automatic. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Leading off to the bay, the captain. And here's Alex Jackson. Alex Jackson. One ball. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Barrios a check to first and he's back safely base runner with a one-way lead right there all he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move had no intent of stealing on that pitch run around the goal pitch in for a strike throw to second save Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Ball to strike. The pitch. Oh. And another ball. Caballero at second with nobody out. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. He will score. And the Rays have the lead. One nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked and he got it done. 
So the lineup flips over. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. That smash towards center. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now here is Randy Arozarena. Went down on strikes his first time through. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, these Rays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. There's a strike. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. First and second, no outs. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that's a little bit high. Two and two. That one missed. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And the righty deals. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. Doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. He's over one. Very high with that one. And that's ball one. Fly ball down the line. And it stays fair. The throw to third. He pulls into second. And a run comes in to score. Oh, he didn't get much of that one. But it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Just a blue pit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. So one out with two aboard. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. Yeah, the first offering is not close. Starts him with a breaking ball, but that's a pitch he's really comfortable hitting. You can't rely on breaking stuff to be automatic out pitches against him. And there's a foul ball. One down, runners at second and third. Bounce to the right, and that chance handled. Tosses to first, out number two, and another run comes in. Now batting, the designated hitter, Ahmed Rosario. Ahmed Rosario, next to hit for the Rays. Struck out swinging his first time. And that one missing low. Two outs with a runner at third. Two outs. And a foul ball. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Rays three, and the Jays nothing. Back here at Rogers Center as we go to the last of the third. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Biggio. The pitch. 
And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Swing and a high fly ball to left. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. Batting nine. The third baseman. Ernie Clement next up for the Blue Jays. Ripped, but it curls foul. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Oh, well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls it in for the out. And there's two away. Up next for the Blue Jays, the left fielder. Now the left fielder. Snyder. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Makes the catch, inning over. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They trail in this one, three nothing. now in Toronto out of the fourth here's the center fielder Johnny DeLuca DeLuca and he deals that one finds the zone it's 0 one and ball one the pitch and he lays down a bunt. Bare hand has to hurry. On the money. Nice play. Well, he gave the bunt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit. And when guys rush, can be a pop-up or can be bunted right back at a position player. Now up for Tampa Bay, Richie Palacios. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand batter waits. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Line drive to short and caught. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. He walked and came around to score his first time up. And that one is in for a strike. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And here's the catcher, Alex Jackson. Singled and scored his first time. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Caballero, the runner at first with two gone. Hey. Fastball for a strike, and it's nothing in two. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. That one missing inside. and a miss and he's down on strikes 
and the inning is over. One hit, one left. And midway in the fourth, Rays three, and the Jays nothing. And we're back. John we Chabi and Chris game. Singleton with you. The and leading game. off the bottom of the fourth, Go Dalton Varsho. Varsho. Savali back to work. And a big swing and a miss. Well, these Jays just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Two and one. Not close with that one. Two and one. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. And another ball. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Good job to fight that one off. Here comes a 3 2. That's towards center. DeLuca under it. And there's one down. Now batting, the designated hitter. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. digs in now. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Now a high fly ball out to left center. DeLuca makes the grab on the run. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Bichette oh, takes a oh, ball as he stands in for the second time. The Rays leading by three. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss. One ball. And the one count break. even one and one. Ball. The shortstop takes a ball. Base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. Now Here's Daniel Vogel back. Caught looking his first time up. That one finds the zone. No one. One well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Two outs. What a stop. The throw, and that's a nice play to end the inning. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Yandy Diaz. And a pitch. And he pumps it a strike. There's a swing and a miss. Oh, two. And that's in the dirt. And that one in the air center field. Varsho makes the grab one away. Up next for Tampa Bay. The so digging in, Randy or Rosarena. A Rosarena. Rosarena. 
gets the outside corner with that one. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. That one ripped left field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. He's in at second with a one out double. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe, one for two. Just no, off the ball. inside edge. One ball, no strike. At the belt and fires. This one chopped to first. Vogel back. Steps off Here first it. for the out. Isaac Paredes getting ready to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Make a great catch like that. It's all about timing the jump. His timing was perfect. Excellent grab, and he comes down with it. The inning is over. Bottom of the inning, leading, leading off, off the Alejandro Jays. Kirk. The catcher. Alejandro. Kirk. The pitch. This to third, Paredes. Throws across the yeah, diamond, lead and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Isaiah. Kinder Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. 0 for 1 so far. in for a strike he's controlling things out there on the mound not messing around at all he's been in attack mode since the very start and that one fouled off That's next offering is down low mm -hmm. hacks and misses it's a strikeout He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. And now the right fielder, Kevin Biggio. Fly to left his first time. And that's outside. And that is ball one. Breaking ball through there for a strike. And a pitch. That one misses, and it's two and one. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The Rays leading by three. Last half of inning number five. Great and ball. another ball. And a swing and a miss. And it's a three up, three down inning. Down in order go the Blue Jays. They trail it here, three nothing. Trevor Richards taking over on the mound. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Yeah, the batter now, Ahmed Tampa Rosario. Bay, the designated hitter, Ahmed Rosario. And a pitch. 
way oh. high. Rosario oh, no. measures oh, six feet two inches, 28 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Good eye in that spot. Two balls, one strike. Come on, Dave. And a two one hammered, but foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Gets a piece and stays alive. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Okay. Up and in, and it's three and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end solid swing from start to end on time with everything really good balance nice extension and he met it out front for the line drive knock next to hit Johnny DeLuca oh. just off the outside edge and yeah, that's ball one Rosario gets his lead at first with nobody out Richards picks over. Rosario dives back in. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Kicks and fires. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Right hander kicks deals. Hit connect on the curveball struck him out. Well, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. And the 1 0. Right through there for a strike. One ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Man at first, one away. <laughs> Struck him out swinging. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. And he's in to score position with two gone on the wild pitch. Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays. Caballero having a lot more success on the road this season. No. Just missed. One more. Runner at second, two down. And we're in the top half of the sixth. And that one fouled off. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball. Two strike. And a swing and a miss. Third out, and that ends the frame. So one hit is all they get. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Raise three, and the Jays nothing. Here at Rogers Center, bottom of the six. And now for the Jays, Ernie Clement. 
The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, these Blue Jays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. The line to kick the pitch. Right side, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Digging in, number 36. The Blue Jays trailing by three here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering is foul back. And another ball. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it. Just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. Swing and a foul straight back. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And a 1-1. In the air out to center on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now that the designated hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Next is the designated hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. That's through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. Bows it off, still one and two. And the right hander deals. Hit hard, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. The batter number 11. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. Bo Bichette up to the dish. This ball's chopped on the ground. They get the force. And that's the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Rays three, and the Jays nothing. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Nate Pearson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. 
And now the catcher comes up to him. Alex Jackson. Number 28. Alex Jackson. And here it comes. And there's a ball. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. The other way, and that's a fair ball. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So the Rays batting order turns over, and here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. That misses the zone. One and oh. Jackson aboard here at first with nobody out. And that's outside. And that's ball two. Activity in the bullpen. Eric Swanson getting ready to go. Cabrera also getting ready. Two zero, -oh. right through there for a strike. To first, maybe a two ball. Over to Michelle, and that's two. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. So two down now, and here is Randy or Rosarena. One for three. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. And it's fouled away. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Strikes he goes and good work there as he gets a one two three set for the last half of the seventh Daniel Vogel back at the plate. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough to sixth inning. Oh, look at this. Gathers and throws, and that's a great play for the out. This defense came to play tonight. We're seeing some awesome pitching, but a huge part of this shutout so far has been the defense making great plays like that behind their pitcher. They feed off of one another, make great pitches, make great plays defensively. Alejandro Kirk now at the plate. Right through there for a strike. The Rays leading by three. Here at the bottom of the seven. That misses the zone and a count one and two. And it skips in the dirt. Next offering upstairs. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Mm -hmm. 
lined into right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Second baseman. Isaiah. So up next for Toronto, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Action in the pen down there. Jason Adam warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Clevenger warming up as well. The pitch. That's a little bit low. One ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Headed down the line. Low drifts towards it, reaches for it, but it's foul. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. Still down 3 0. We go to the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. Pearson back to work. And it goes just foul. Righty delivers just off the outside edge, and it's one and one. And another ball. Two and one. And he grounds one to the right side. Connor Falefa throws the first in time. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Up next for Tampa Bay, the third baseman. Isak, Isak Paredes next Paredes. to hit for the Rays. That was a loud out in the last at bat. He really squared up that pitch, but still couldn't find a hole. Those can be frustrating, but not as much when you're already playing with the lead. A little out front there as he swings through it. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. The velocity blasted it right past him. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one. Just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. Rosario stands in now and watches strike one. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Vogelback moving under it, and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. Rays three, and the Jays nothing. Back now in Toronto. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. Biggio. And the right hander back to work. That that's misses, and that's ball one. Mm -hmm. On the corner for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Now this is in the air down the line. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And a quick out number one. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. A Rosarena makes the grab, two down. Oh, he's looking to try to finish off eight solid innings out there on the mound. He's just getting to 100 pitches right now, man. It's been so impressive. He's been really good in this one. That 
gets a hit. And that extends the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho, a former first round pick, and he's really turned into a nice everyday player. Yeah, there's the strike. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, get a lockdown closer ready to come in. The Jays trailing by three here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. That's down and in. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. One ball. Two straight. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Back-to-back -back singles. Couldn't get any no, air under it, but he smoked that yeah, ball back yeah. up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got yeah. great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And maybe they've got something going here, trying to get back into this one. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Aaron Savali will depart, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Now a new pitcher for the Rays, Phil Maton. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. So two on with two away. And next is the designated hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And that is in for a strike. One one. And a swing and a miss there. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. The tying run at the plate. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. We're back. It's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Henesis Cabrera. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Now up for Tampa Bay, Johnny DeLuca. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And he deals. Cabrera, in his fifth season, 27 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. That one at 95 missed up top. One and one. And a rope into center field. Base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. All over that one right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Richie Palacios, the next to hit. That one catches the zone. It's 0 1. Snap throw to first. DeLuca back in standing. DeLuca on at first. Nobody out. And that one clips the corner. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Eric Swanson appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. The 0-2. And Watch that's it. in the dirt. Wouldn't chase that time. 
Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here too too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat so might have it timed up and ready for it. Two two down. Stays alive. Battling here as he fouls it away. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. The pitch. On the ground to third. And that one finds its way through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Jose Caballero digs in now. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. And down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Here's the catcher to hit, Alex Jackson. The bottom of the order here, Boogie. Got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add on run. And the number nine guy at the plate. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the cow so that you can dictate the rest of the at bat. That's nice job play. right there. And that's off the inside edge. And one and one. Into center. Varsho moving under it. Varsho pulls that one down. Yandi Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Yandi Diaz. That catches the corner. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. Just misses. And a count one and two. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. So they strand a pair. Onto the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. Raise three and the Jays nothing. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Jason Adam. Save opportunity now, for him right ready. here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down Jason. and get out of here Adam. with the W. Bobachet getting up. ready Four to hit. Auto. The shortstop. Oh. Yeah. The pitch. Ball oh. one there. And the righty deals. Oh. And now two and nothing. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And another ball. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And a four pitch walk. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate, but as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Daniel Vogelback next up for the Blue Jays.
just off the inside edge. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. The Blue Jays trailing by three here in the last half of inning number nine. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Left hand batter waits. That one fouled off. Two and two. Riding to the plate. On the ground is short, could be two. Steps on the bag for one to Diaz. That's two. Very composed play from the shortstop position right there. I mean, that was a perfect decision. Go ahead, take it yourself, get to second, and then fire to first. Make sure you get those two outs. One out left for the Blue Jays. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. First pitch misses. Two down, nobody on. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And strike one to the catcher. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Adam is just one strike away and a swing and a miss and that is the ball game. This is just a nice win three nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you score but you also know that if you're not careful a bloop a base hit and a home run ties everything up but it was great pitching timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one three nothing our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show. I'm John Chambi saying so long.